And that, and that was my per my first choice. Um, and I remember Matt saying, hey, if you need a kidney, I'm here. We obviously kind of grew up together. Um, we did all get adopted, myself, David here, and then we do have another brother that uh, passed away in 2013. He was 30 years old. And it, and it opened my eyes to the world, you know, it just, it made me realize life is short and nobody's guaranteed tomorrow, so. My mom and um, our youngest brother, Andy, um, came over and checked on me and uh, they found me. I wasn't coherent. Um, I was in the shower on the floor just letting the water run and uh, found out I had um, kidney damage. So David had uh, something we call end-stage kidney disease, means his own kidneys were failed and he was on dialysis. And on dialysis patients, survival is about 50% at five years. People die on the wait list, so this is a really life-saving gift. And even if we did have enough deceased donors, a living donor kidney lasts longer and works better. Traditionally, the way that donor nephrectomies or donor kidney removals were done in the past was an open surgery, which was very painful. And I really feel that robotics adds a 3D perspective, much better vision, and you have wrist motions that you don't have with pure laparoscopic surgery. So it makes the surgery safer and when I learned that this was going to be the first robot donor nephrectomy, I was, I was thrilled to be a part of that with, you know, Matthew and David, the Maddox brothers. It was just a wonderful experience. The whole process for me was uh, a year and a half from my first hospital stay until my transplant. I don't feel different at all. Like, you couldn't tell at all that I gave a kidney up. Like, he's just back to normal. And for me, it, it's felt like it's been forever since I felt this way. Just mind blown being able to take a kidney from my body and put it, it's just, it's, it's crazy. And 100% the transplant center made everything from my donor experience very easy. I really felt like I did nothing. Our job is to improve the quality of life of the patient. So we are always happy to share the success story of someone like David and his brother. The Transplant Institute, again, has made me just so calm, so comforted. Our whole family would say the same thing. It's been a remarkable experience. Matthew Maddox, especially as a donor, just obviously such a, such a loving brother and a, a life-saving gift, and I'm just happy that I could be part of that. My final words to anybody, really, um, if you get the opportunity to do it, like 100%. Do it. Not only are you saving somebody's life, um, it could change your life. It could make you look at things different. Having a second chance at life, I'll do this guy. <laughs>